Okay, darlings, we have our work cut out for us today. His name is Brian Silverton, 31, and he's a corporate lawyer. Oh, poor honey. I know, Seriously. yeah. Um, he likes to dance, he throws sushi parties, <laughs> and he's a total workaholic. Jill asked us to have him ready for this weekend's protest. He sounds like a total metrosexual. You know, his idea of progressive politics is tax cuts for the rich, and his only protest is when they tried to shut down Starbucks on 8th Street. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Jill said that he owns over five dozen pairs of shoes and he throws out, out his sweaters when they get those little fuzz balls. <laughs> she also said that he had a thousand dollar espresso machine, a mega champion juicer, and some like heart-shaped egg poacher. Are you sure he's not gay? <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend friend Jill is great though. She's 27. She's from San Francisco. And she's a radical health activist. Oh, she's awesome. awesome. Excited that we're coming. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> okay, darlings. Are you ready? We gotta politicize our bourgeois man. Yes. All right. All right. Go Fab Four. I, I really do, but um, I'm kind of concerned about his priorities. He spends probably a thousand, thou several thousands of dollars on his outfits and his car and his shoes. He's a lawyer. He's a corporate lawyer, in fact, and um, that's kind of hard for me, you know, being raised by socialists. Um, I don't know. I can't believe that, you know, basically the world's going to hell and he's profiting from it. So, yeah, I don't know what my parents would think. I can't believe I'm dating an apathetic metrosexual. Hi. Hello. Hi. You must be Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. We're gonna nice snap to you into shape today. Nice to meet you all. Are you ready? Um, let me just finish up here. You know, if you don't polish your shoe leather every day, um, you can just kiss them goodbye. Well, hurry up, girl. I have to admit, I'm a little bit worried about today. To be honest, I've been questioning my life a lot. What really is important to me? I know I love Jill, and she's really excited that I'm open to seeing the fabulous four. And you know, you have to take risks in order to succeed. As the old saying goes, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Gap. Huh. Gap. Abercrombie and Fitch? Oh, come on, girl. Abercrombie and Fitch. Old Navy. Oh. I don't even need to look at this anymore. I can smell the sweatshop and the slave labor coming off of it. Okay, Brian, when you're going to the protest, uh -huh. there's a few things I really need you to remember, okay? When you're doing direct action, you want to leave your ID at home. That way they can't identify you and you can do some jail solidarity. Hmm. All right? You want to leave your address book back because they can't go after your friends. You know, they're shady like that. All right. All right. And the last thing, you want to write your, uh, your legal support number on your arm. Preferably with something permanent so you don't sweat it off. Wait, a permanent marker on my skin? Well, are you dedicated to the cause? I guess, yeah. Okay, do you love Jill? I love Jill. All right. When getting pepper sprayed by the police, it's always a good idea for the girl on the go to keep a bottle of saline in her purse. It's great for rinsing it out. Also, it's not a bad idea to keep a cute retro 70s bandana in your purse, soaked with vinegar to help protect you from the tear gas. So let's say you're doing some direct action and you're doing the lockdown in front of some big corporation like Bechtel. Right. Okay. 
So you you have the you, you have the option to not cooperate, mm -hmm. and one of the best ways to do that is to go limp if the police try to grab you. Okay. Do you understand? I think I do. All right. Do you want to practice? Sure. Okay. Hey, you protesters! Ah. Saute that? Yeah, you just saute that. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna go around like this. And you put some garlic in there, just chop some of that up, sprinkle some of this on there. And salt, you get, like, pepper, yeah, a little. Yeah, oh, it's, it's so good. good. Yeah, mm. it's so good. And then it should take about, you know, like maybe four or five minutes. Never underestimate the magic of a dumpster. You can find great food in the dumpster. But remember, during the summertime, this baby's baking like an oven. And the food, yeah, you wanna smell it first and then take a bite. for fabulous fashion for $5 or less. Take an old t-shirt and a piece of fabric, make a stencil with a statement that's important to you and some spray paint. Take a couple safety pins and voila! You've got fabulous fashion and you get to make a statement all of your own. Go get them, girl! Oh, so what do we have here? We have, this is cool, we have Naomi Klein and what? Exile and Pride, the origins of totalitarianism, and oh, how to get stupid white men out of office. What's this? This is my recent favorite book of all time. It's written by all local activists, and um, it's a compilation about pretty much how to get local power for activists. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Biofuels, air pollution, and health. Oh, I figure that's what I need to know about. Oh yeah, biofuels totally turns chicks on. Oh. Hmm. It's always good to ask yourself where the stuff that you own or that you buy comes from. For example, these electronics are probably made in third world countries in the free trade zones where there's no labor protection. So we, sweeties, so the time is now. Act up and globalize solidarity. And remember, localization of economy creates jobs. It was great. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I love the Fab Four. The Fabulous Four were amazing. 